What is up guys, I'm going to be showing you today how we can use SendDrop for making dropshipping using your Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify app store, if you don't have the actual online store using Shopify, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. So you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up. For example, you can have three months of Shopify with a basic or standard plan, which is paying only $1 and much more. So with that being said, let's get started. So what I want to do here, once I do have redeemed my code here, is to actually go into the apps so I can start with my Shopify online store, uh, I'll drop shipping. So here I want to type SendDrop, search for SendDrop in the Shopify app store. This one is going to be sending us into the app store of Shopify and automatically they just found it to the SendDrop. So what I want to do is to click into my SendDrop. And here I want to click into the ad application. Just take in mind that this has a free plan available up to seven day free trial. After that, we need to have a actual plan if you want to uh, actually click working here into Sandra. So here I want to tap into ad application. If you are okay with the integration, you just need to grant the access into your Shopify store. I just need to get into install app. And there we go. Just as easy, we are now inside the center. So I'm going to just delete this. I'm going to close this part. I'm going to go back into my center tab. And we are now good to go. So here, what I just need to do is to set up my account. So here, as you can see, I need to import a passcode. So I'm going to tap the same passcode that I use for my Shopify account. So I don't have any trouble there. And preferred contact method, you want to choose email and here to sign up. And just like that, we're now inside the actual send drop. Now, how can we get started to make drop shipping? So once we make the integration from this store into the actual Shopify, what I want to do is to look for products in order to make drop shipping. So here, I want to look for shop trends or ships from the USA. If you want to send directly from USA into the same country, I can totally recommend you to use um, suppliers from the actual USA so you don't have to keep uh, waiting your customers a lot because remember that if this actual product comes from China, for example, AliExpress, the products are most likely to get into your uh, into your houses, into your location within 30, 45 days. So I think it's not that worthy to try that. So with that being said, I want to scroll a little bit down and look for actual products. So let's say, for example, that I kind of like the retro Merry Christmas, the I swear I tried. So I think we go into the art to the import list. And here, what you want to do is to choose a plan if you want to access to that feature. And in my case, you just want to tap the seven day free trial. So here into the seven day free trial, you can just, uh, I'm going to just click into the X mark here. And I'm going to scroll my way down. And as you can see, we do have the current plan here. So here into the current plan, I just have access to one mail product and to do this stuff. But I cannot have any order if, if that's what you want to do. So if you choose the seven day free trial, it's going to be sending you into the upgrade version. And you just need to make the payment into Shopify, of course. So here's the billing and hit into improved. Now, in my case, I don't want to do that. I'm going to click hit into the X mark. I'm going to go back into the apps go into the send drop once again. There we go. And just in case that you actually want to see how this one actually works. So you just need to hit into the import list. So here, once you find a product to add to, so for example, this one, I'm going to go here into the import list. And here I want to change the product name because I don't want to have a lot of a broad name. But I want to implement a little more, more stuff into my actual brand. For example, automatic pet water dispenser. Um, let's say humans. Or this is the actual brand. But in my case, I'm going to leave it like that. The product type, you want to leave it like that. Collection, you want to hit into your collections. Like this. And hit into home page. There we go. I'm going to go back. And here into the description. As you can see, I don't have to do absolutely anything because the actual product has been added a great, great description. And then if you click into the variants, these are the different variants that are available. You want to choose, of course, US shipping cost. Here is the product cost. And then what you want to do is to import the sales price. So let's say, for example, that if you uh, sell this item, 
that that is actual five dollars with the shipping cost i'm pretty sure it's a little bit uh, more than fourteen dollars a little bit less fourteen dollars i'm pretty sure and you sell this into the sales price which is eighteen dollars this one minus these two prices it's equal to three dot sixty nine dollars so the profit that means that this is the money i'm going to be gaining for each sale if you want to earn smart money you want to uh, just enable that uh, as you are increasing your sales price in my case just getting started i think that this is a really really good price so with that being said what you want to do is to now hit into the images and figure out which one you want to don't use or do you actually want it to use so in my case i think that this has been great so here if i go into the import to the store it says please read we have an inventory the products are uh, cycle delays so you're going to hit into got it please don't display this message again and hit into confirmed so i'm going to hit into the x mark here and there we go so once i hit into the import list i'm going to go back into the imported products and here as you can see we do have the process already been done so it says view on shopify you don't need to do that just go back into the tab that we were before tap into products and here as you can see is the automatic pet water dispenser so if i clicked into my title into the actual uh, product you can change the title description if you um if you forgot to add something into your store in my case i don't want to focus a lot into the uh actual design the editor I just want to make sure that this one has been added into my online store. So if I get into the online store, I want to go into view your store and I want to scroll down until I find my item added in here. As you can see, here it is automatic pet water dispenser. So if I click in here, this is the actual store that I created from Shopify. So as you can see, this is the price. Here's the images, the description. So everything has been added automatically and here's the buy it now really really great size united states us usb there we go so um lastly i can just go back into sandra and when someone makes an order when someone actually goes in here into my store and tap it into add to cart or buy it now it's going to appear in here into my order fulfillment so once this one has been added successfully into my shopify since this one is already imported from Sandrop. This actually is going to be appearing here, your actual products. So if I go here into my dashboard, here is going to be appearing all my orders that have been fulfilled. So as you can see, it says order to fulfilled, and it should be appearing in here. So you can, when someone makes a buy your product, you can go back into Sandrop, click into orders to fulfilled, and do this manually, fulfill all orders really really easy or just choose the auto fulfillment and activate that so with that being said guys we've reached into the very end of the video as you can see it wasn't the hard to making drop shipping using send drop there are much more um applications come helping you to make drop shipping for example it is Deezus, uh and much more so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you find this video valuable and if you want to see more amazing tools from the shopify to your online store thank you once again for watching the video guys and i'll see you in the next video